The Virginia football team and its fans are hoping the third time's the charm. After starting the season 5-1, UVA has lost back-to-back -back games, meaning the Hoos are one win away from becoming bowl eligible for the third week in a row. A victory against Georgia Tech would give Virginia six wins for the first time since 2011. But with about two and a half minutes left in the first half, the Yellow Jackets score a touchdown to go up 14-6. On the ensuing kickoff, Joe Reed is deep for the Who as the sophomore runs into the pile but somehow escapes and he's gone. 92 yards on the kickoff return for a touchdown. The Cavaliers trail 14-13 at halftime. Georgia Tech scored two quick touchdowns to start the second half. Virginia will answer. Kurt Benkert lobs the ball 34 yards into the waiting arms of Andre Lavroni. The touchdown cuts the lead to eight. After a Quinn Blanding interception, Ben Kurt throws along the far sideline for Donnie Dowling, and the senior pulls in the 28-yard score. The two-point conversion ties the game at 28. UVA takes the lead on a field goal in the fourth, and the defense will add to it with a safety. The Cavaliers are up by five with under nine minutes to play. Three minutes left in the game. Georgia Tech has the ball. Taquan Marshall. Connects with a wide open Ricky June for the Yellow Jackets score. They get the two point conversion to go up 36 to 33. 90 seconds left. Last chance for the Hoos. Ben Kurt will find Lavroni through the rain on a 27 yard touchdown. That's the game winner. Virginia is going bowling for the first time since 2011 as the Cavaliers beat Georgia Tech 40 to 36. When you give everything that you have as a coach or a player or a person and, and it works in your favor, yeah, it's a good feeling. I've been here as long as anybody on this team. So going through all the struggles that we've been through, everything, all the hard things we've been through with Coach Manhattan and his staff, it's so rewarding. You know, just to get to that sixth win, just be able to reach a milestone that I have yet to reach in my career here. That's what I came back for, um, to change this program, to, to build this foundation. And that's what we built, and we're going to keep going up from here. This means a lot for us. Um, I was talking about the guys in class of 2013. We came here. You know, we, we, we were expecting to win early. Didn't get it done. Five, you know, long hard years to finally get to a, a bowl game and kind of we're in our, you know, we can control our own destiny right now, really. So if we went out, our goal is to win the Coastal, but at the end of the day, we're finally going bowling, so that's sweet. Virginia will be back in action at Louisville next week. 13th ranked Virginia Tech is on the field against number 10 Miami right now. The Hokies are currently trailing 28 to 10 in the fourth quarter as they've given up more than 400 yards of total offense. The winner of this game likely wraps up a spot in the ACC championship game. The top ranked and undefeated James Madison football team has a record of 8 and 0. It's the best start in school history. The defending national champions have won 20 games in a row dating back to the last season. The Dukes are looking to keep the streak going on the road at Rhode Island. JMU was up 14 to 3 at halftime in the third quarter. Trey Sharp goes up the middle for the score. The Dukes lead by 18. It's 24 to 3 in the fourth. Quarterback Brian Shore connects with Terrence Alls in the back of the end zone for the 20 yard touchdown. Shore is the all time leader in passing touchdowns at JMU and he will add to his total as the senior hits Jonathan Klusterman for his fourth of the game. James Madison beats Rhode Island 38 to 3 for its 21st win in a row. Fort Union Military Academy is on the road at Woodbury Forest. The Blue Devils are down 14 to nothing with 20 seconds left in the first half. Luke Wilson connects with Logan Justice over the middle for the 37-yard touchdown. That cuts the deficit to seven. The Tigers get off to a fast start in the third quarter. Will Weidman throws downfield for the Quiz Carter. The junior somehow spins away from the tackle and continues 61 yards to the end zone. That's his third touchdown of the game. It's 21-7. Now in the fourth quarter, Weidman will hand the ball off to Jameel Wilson. The senior picks his way through the defense and in for the score. Tigers lead by 21. Soon after that, they are deep in their own territory. Weidman throws a short pass to Khalid Thomas. The Harvard commitment makes one man miss and outruns the rest. That's a 94-yard touchdown. Woodbury Forest beats Fuma 35-20. Defending state champion Blue Ridge is taking on Benedictine. The Barons are trailing 21 to nothing in the second quarter. Xavier Kane is looking to throw, but his pass is tipped and intercepted by the Cadets. They will turn that in the points as quarterback Jay Wolfel throws downfield to Dylan Tennyson. Both of those guys are freshmen. Blue Ridge is shut out 35 to nothing, but the Virginia football team will be playing in December for the first time since 2011 yeah. to get the six wins. That win made it a little less miserable being out there in the rain and the cold today. I'm it sure. was a pretty <laughs> miserable rain, but the fans that were there yeah. ran out on the field after the game. They all looked happy, so no problems. Thanks, Mike. We'll be right back.